Thanks for checking this video out. Your mountaintop news video is coming up in just a minute. Did you know that it's going to be watched thousands of times, shared a bunch of times, likes, comments, you name it, it's going to be there. Why is it your ad here? Call me. As a result of a Kentucky bill that would ban all intoxicating hemp-derived products, including Delta-8 and Delta-10, local businesses are rallying to ensure that they can still sell it as they believe the compound helps its consumers. I believe, being a recovering drug addict, that this stuff does help. I know pharmaceutical doesn't want to hear that. I know all these other people don't want to hear that, but it's obviously helping people. It's helping them to sleep. It's helping them from nightmares, from the war. It's helping everyone. According to the FDA, Delta-8 is a psychoactive substance found in the cannabis sativa plant, of which marijuana and hemp are two varieties. Although Delta-8 isn't as effective as cannabis, Combs says he wouldn't be able to sell 70% of his products if the bill goes into effect. It will either make us do what we normally do, try to switch to something, but I tell everyone right now, to my customers that we care about, to anyone that's ever walked in here and just hung out, this will shut, maybe not shut us down right then, but it will shut us down. In recent days, Combs and other businesses have taken it upon themselves to speak with legislators to keep Delta-8 on the shelves. However, Combs believes the problem goes beyond Delta-8's effects. We have every walks of life. We have people that you would never think would pull up to this drive-thru. We have people walking in here that's all walks of life. And that's the thing with us. We're private when it comes to that. We hold, because we tell them that. Like if they say, hey, I'm having this problem and this medicine that I'm on, we'll verify. We'll call doctors and pharmacists to check that, to see if it's all right for them to use. Most shops don't even care. I've heard most people come in here and they say, you guys really try to have so much literature, so everything new, you try to have it to give to the customer. The biggest thing I see is these other companies, it's like, you'll ask them, for instance, they'll say, hey, um, how does this work and when, you know, how long will it take to kick in or whatever it is? And they'll say, uh, go read it online. They don't, they don't know anything about the product they're selling. I believe with all my heart, if you're going to do something, you've got to know about what you're talking about. According to the Kentucky Hemp Association, over 20 states have legalized Delta-8's use, with others absorbing the substance as part of the recreational marijuana program. Combs believes the bill should be rewritten to support Kentuckians. You want to help Kentucky? This is just my opinion. I'm saying this. How about we do this? How about they pass, they rewrite this law and they say all the hemp plants. If you're going to use Delta-8 in a Kentucky, you're going to use Delta-8, Kentucky, Delta-8. Meaning, the farmers, you can only use Kentucky hemp flour. And then it has to be extracted in Kentucky by an extraction company. If that's the way we got to go to show where everybody is helping everybody. The Kentucky hemp program, the farmers, the extractors, everyone, I believe it would work a lot better. To say no, or if you have concerns over Delta 8, you can call 1-800-372-7181. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.